Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another Strictly Come Dancing inspired look. Um, this one I'm going to be doing um, a tango look um, because my friend said that she really loved Natalie Lowe's makeup. She looked really fierce, she looked amazing. Um, the makeup artist did a really good job and she looked amazing in general. She wore this really beautiful green dress. Um, so. I had a look at some of the, f um, I mean because it's quite hard to tell when they're dancing so I looked over some of the pictures afterwards um, and she's definitely got like quite a winged out kind of look going on and it's quite a dark eye as well, I can't tell if it's a little bit, got a little bit of green in there um, but I'm going to incorporate some green as she did have a green dress on again she looks stunning so I'm just gonna mess around see what I can come up with this because like I said it's gonna be an inspired look so it won't be the exact look obviously because I don't want to copy but I'm gonna just wing out the eyes a lot with some blacks mix in some greens there as well and probably pop quite a nude-ish lip on as well so if you'd like to see my Should It Come Dancing Natalie Low Tango inspired look then just keep watching Okay, so I'm going to start off with my foundation first, I think this time. Usually I do it the other way around, but I don't think I'll have too much fallout um, with what I'm going to do, potentially, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to take my Lily Lolo Mineral Foundation in the shade Warm Peach. I haven't used this in a while, um, but I decided I wanted to go for a very matte look today. I don't know why, but I'm just going matte on the eyes, matte on the face and matte lips as well I just fancied that so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to do foundation first I really love this um, foundation because it's very buildable but it doesn't look cakey on the skin so I'm using my big Kiko brush to do this I quite like it Okay, and then I'm going to go in with some concealer quickly. I'm using the using the Gosh Click and Conceal concealer. I have mine in the shade 01 Light. It's one of the ones you have to, like I suggest, click up. And I'm going to pop this under my eyes. If anyone wants to come out, that'd be nice. Oh, there we go. A little bit under my eyes. blemishes. So I'm having a very bad skin week at the moment. I really like this foundation because you can just apply liquid over the top and it doesn't cake it up or anything. So you can go with a liquid concealer if you'd rather. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set the concealer places with the Gosh Mineral Powder. Just a little light dusting quickly do my brows using my Freedom Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Brow Brush to, I'm not doing anything too heavy um, because I want the eyes to be the focus not the brows. I think it looks quite nice if you do quite a soft brow with quite a heavy eye. It can look quite nice I think. I'm not trying to do anything different with my brows, I'm literally just following them, my natural kind of shape of my brows. Okay, moving on to the eye section. I'm actually going to first of all take my sleek um, ink pot in Dominatrix, it's just the uh, my gel liner, but I'm going to pop it as like a cream base, um, just to make everything much more intense on the eyelid. I'm not going to put too much on there, but just enough to coat the lid. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out as much as I can. I'm 
And let's get a clean fluffy brush and just buff it out. too much about it being messy at the moment because we will it is going to be quite winged out anyway but we are going to go neaten up with the powders now powder eyeshadows so for this i'm going to take my makeup revolution fortune flavors the brave palette because i have had a few more requests to do more looks using this palette so i thought i would crack it out for today so i'm going to be sticking more with this side um, of the palette so i'm going to take the black shade first Kind of use it to set the cream that you've just put down and to smoke it out a little bit further. Right, I will go back in later and intensify a bit more and blend it out a bit more. I want to start winging out the eye look now. And to this I'm actually going to take this dark green matte shade just there. And just to start, because she did have it winged out quite far and it was relatively thick as well. So I'm actually going to start from this section. And just very slowly start mapping it out. I'm just taking very little product at, at a time on the brush just so I can get it right. So I'm actually going past the end of my eyebrow because um, that's how far out it looked like she had it. take actually a bit of this matte blue shade here and just incorporate that into the wing as well just a little bit to help deepen it and as I get to the end of the tail I start off with quite a bit of pressure here on the brush and just gradually loosen the pressure so it kind of fades out as opposed to being super sharp I'm just going to quickly make go over and blend the front section. Okay, now to go on to the lower lash line. So I'm just going to initially go back in my sleek in ink pot and take and take my eyeliner brush from Real Techniques. Drag this along the lower lash line. Popping it into the waterline as well. Wipe underneath the lash line to kind of neaten it up a little bit. by running an another brush just along the gel liner it diffuses it ever so slightly so it turns it 
So it creates a slight gradient, so it's really black on the waterline, and then it just gets to a very kind of like a, a grey black, which I quite like. I'm actually going to tight line the upper lash line as well. I'm going to take it also just above the lash line as well, because I'm going to put some falsies on, this will just help disguise the lash band. Ok now I'm going to go in with some falsies, for this I'm using my Ardell Spiky 385, as you can see they're quite spiky and dramatic, I think this would work perfectly for this look. Ok and that is the lashes on, now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. So to contour I'm going to be using my Ch Barry M Chisel Cheeks contour kit, I'm going to take the darkest shade first to contour areas of my face. So I'm going to do my cheekbones. Mm. Although I've gone quite very obviously very heavy eye look, I still I don't want to go too heavy on the rest of it. So I'm just, just going to lightly contour, nothing particularly heavy. I'm going to go in with the warmer shade in the palette to um, bronze up my skin. And I've gone for this one because it has no shimmer in it as well. So just create some warmth to the skin, but keep the whole look looking very matte. For blusher, I'm using my Kiko 107 Soft Touch Blush, which is quite a deep pink shade. I thought this would work quite well with this look. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on the apples. And there's going to be no highlight today because, like I said, I want to keep it very matte. Um, I think it just makes it a bit more dramatic when it's all matte. And I just realised I didn't apply any mascara, so I'm going to take the um, Icona Milano mascara. It's a waterproof mascara, and I'm not going to bother the upper lashes. Upper, yeah, I'm not going to bother the upper lashes. I've got the falsies on, so I'm just going to give the lower lashes a couple of coats. Ok and then that just leaves the lips, so for the lips I'm going with the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Tranquility. Now I think Natalie though did have a slightly more of a pinky lip on but I thought I really like how this kind of nude orange looks with this eye makeup look, so that's why I went with that instead. Okay, so that completes the Natty Low Tango inspired makeup look. Like I said, it's not the exact look she had on, but I wanted to kind of create my own version. So it's very winged out like she did. I had some greens and blues into the wing bit, which I think has worked out really well. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.